Hello, my name is Stephen Knight and the topic of this uh, tutorial is creating a pivot table and using dates for grouping. Now what we're going to start off with here is we have a, a block of data. Uh, I've already converted this to a table, not strictly necessary, uh, but it does help if we add more data to this table later on, it's very easy to refresh our pivot table and I'll cover that process in a separate tutorial. Now, so we're going to start by going to the insert tab up here on the ribbon. Now I'm using Office 2010, this is Excel 2010, but Excel 2007, no substantial difference here. Coming over to my pivot table tool, I'm going to choose to create a pivot table. I have the marquee going around my data, which is good. Uh, if I now go OK, and I have my pivot table tools here uh, on the toolbar up on the ribbon. And as well on the ribbon, uh, we've also got some design tools as well as our options. And we'll work a little bit with both of those in this exercise. So. To start with, I'm going to make transaction date a row label. Uh, this could be the date of a sale or the date of a particular piece of maintenance occurring. Uh, I'm then going to take the salesperson and make them a column label. I'm going to take the sales price and that'll be my value. Now at the moment this is actually grouping. If we had multiple transactions per day, what we have here is a summary uh, per day. But usually in business you want a weekly or a monthly or sometimes a fortnightly summary. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just right clicking on the first date. I'm going to group and I'm choosing months and years. Uh, it's a little bit neater if you choose years, particularly if your data goes over a long period of time. I'm going to go OK. And I've now got a nice little summary month by month. We've only got a little short block of data here, or a block of data over a short time. So uh, it's just summarized by two months for the year 2010. If I right click on one of the months and go back to group, I might want to look at grouping by days. So I could group by seven days. Uh, or I'm, we're doing a lot of work with people with production processes, manufacturing, mining, and so on. They seem to work with a 14-day cycle. Uh, that's a fortnight for our American listeners. Uh, so if you're working with a fortnightly cycle, you could say, look, I'd like to group this in blocks of 14 days. If we then go OK, we've now got a group by 14 days. So we've got a fortnightly summary. Little trick here, I'm just going to go back into this for a moment. You'll notice the start date here at the beginning. You probably in your organisation, you might start your weeks on a Monday or start your weeks on a Sunday or whatever works for your particular system. You would need to modify that date because that's just when the data starts. It's not actually necessarily the start of your weekly or fortnightly or whatever cycle you're actually working with. So I'll just leave that as it is for the moment and go OK. Now, a couple of other quick things we can do while we're here. If I go to the design tab up the top and I'm going to switch on banded rows. If you've got lots of data, this can make it a lot easier to look at. And what I'm also going to do here, I'm just expanding the style gallery. Uh, we get uh, a live preview. So if I point to a style, it actually uh, applies it for me. And I can just click to, to choose this particular style that I'd like. So what we've done there is a pivot table 
with grouping, using our dates to group the data, to summarise the data, because summarising is, is what pivot tables are all about. We've seen we can do monthly, weekly, fortnightly. We've also actually got some other options here as well, which I'll just briefly recap, is we can summarise quarterly uh, or even yearly or combinations of factors here as well, depending on what suits your business. So I'm hoping this particular tutorial will make your work life easier to speed up processing of your data, which is what these tutorials are all about. The theme is I want to make your work life easier. If you have something that's bugging you, you'd like to see a tutorial on it, please uh, contact me. Uh, if you go to my website, which is trainascope.com, uh, all one word, or you can go train-a-scope.com, either address will work. Go to the uh, contact details there, you'll find my email address, uh, stephen, S-T-E-V-E-N, at trainascope.com, uh, my Skype address, stephen.night.training. Uh, I've just activated a feature with Skype where if you leave a voicemail, it will translate it into a text message and then SMS that to my mobile phone. So feel free to leave a voicemail or you can text me on Skype uh, and uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, answer your questions. Thank you for your attention.